hello friends welcome to this video uh, so today's video we will set up fritz box 7590 ax with the germany's uh, optical fiber cable which is the deutsche glass feather so this is the new uh, router fritz box router i have ordered from amazon and uh, it cost around 236 euros and what is included here in this router what is special in this in, uh, router is uh, it has uh, vale one uh, port which is uh, wide area net network port so this means four lan cables hai one wan cable hai you have uh, two telephone ports and one dsl so if you have the dsl uh, internet so you can also connect it with you with it and then it has uh, two usb ports for the local storage and it has the good feature wifi 6 uh, so the internet uh, will be accessible um, at each corner of your house so it will have more uh, faster and more uh, wide uh, range of uh, signals uh, at your home so let's open it What's in the box? Of course, few manuals. Which manuals are? How to set up? And then this is with the password and all. This is the router we have. It's quite big. My, so big. Then what is there? You have the power cable, and then you have this converter of uh, for the DSL. Then there is a again DSL cable telephone. This is for telephone, and this is the LAN cable. Okay. then let's connect it this is the optical fiber um, connection uh, boxes so what i have done i have uh, plugged it in into the power cable and so you see it is turning uh, green and now put this uh, lan cable into the yellow one so here this is the lan cable in the yellow and then we put this cable inside the router so let's connect this router to the power and to the to the van so here you will put the cable from the uh, optical fiber or glass fasa box so this is the cable put it here and then you plug the power cable green light will blink then you also have this lan cable which you can connect with your pc to do to do the installation of the router so this you can plug it into any of the yellow ports So it will take few minutes. Uh, you see the lights are blinking, so that means it is uh, doing the initial setup by itself. So once the the light will stop blink blinking, then we can start with the further setup on at our PC. So guys, this is the Fitzbox. Uh, user interface so after you logged in into your fritzbox via fritz.box into the browser 
you will see this screen and then you click ok for the next step so after we click the ok we will see the next step where we have to select the our internet provider so let's wait for a few seconds and then this screen will come up so here we say next so it will assist us in uh, installing or setting up the so here you selected the Deutsche Glass Phaser then again you click next so here is the information that the, the van in your fritz box should be switched um, on or plugged in with the cable from the uh, glass phaser click next again click next and then you see the <coughs> connection is uh, via one and the uh, uh, provider is Deutsche glass phaser looks good so if you click next again <clears throat> okay wait for a few seconds here while the connection is being set it up with the cable it will take just a few seconds you will see the progress bar and it said wait up to 30 minutes so this is in process the connection So wait for a few more seconds now it is doing something finally yes and now you see this is a green progress bar and the uh, uh, connection is good and green it is set it up and then now there is an option to uh, create your telephone number to set it up but uh, this we can skip for the time and then uh, you can do it later on in the options so this is the step where you can also override your default VLAN uh, uh, key and uh, the name so you can change the name of your wireless network and then also change the default key and then say finish okay so now it is finished so you can also send this information to your email address and then uh, you will get an email with all the details from your router and now it will check for any system updates there are no system updates so this is the final process so these steps we have done click on finish yes so now you see internet is green VLAN is green LAN is green so it it says it looks good and the Wi-Fi or the internet should work now yeah so these are the different options you will see on your left of the screen so some of the steps you can also set it up or configure later on so there are options you can also logged in into your fritz box and then change few things like wireless network or key or something so these things you can also change anytime so this was the final steps so let's now check the speed of our internet so how fast uh, the speed is we can check with the speed test 
so if you go to the google and search for speed test you will see the very first result speed test by okla and then you click go so this is the download speed wow it just amazing i mean it's close to 1000 mbps so i had a dsl network before and it was around 200 mbps and now it is around five times more than my dsl network and this is the download speed look at it guys 500 and something so amazing i mean i had it only 40 or 50 mbps download speed and now you see 500 upload speed and uh, the download speed is 912 wow it's great so after you set it up you can also check the download and upload speed of your connection so once you are done you see that uh, the the green light stopped blinking and it stays green all the time so that means it is okay